Welcome. In this video, new marketing cloud personalization users will learn how to create, test, and optimize campaigns. Whether you're looking to engage your website visitors or improve your email marketing, personalization campaigns can help you tailor your content to specific audiences, test different variations, and optimize your messages for the best results. Create campaigns through the visual editor in the Salesforce Interaction SDK launcher extension. This enables you to see how the campaigns will look on your site as you build them. There are more details on this extension and how to download the Salesforce Interaction SDK launcher on the support site and in eCampus. Let's explore the process of creating, testing, and optimizing a campaign using Marketing Cloud personalization. Once we have the SDK installed, you will enable the Visual Editor. In the Evergage Launcher, which brings up the hexagons wrapped around your site, make sure to enter the proper account and data set to the site you want to access. Here you can see the account is tied to my Salesforce demo environment, and the SDK is capturing details for the Northern Trail Outfitter instance. Access various options within the Visual Editor through the hexagon widget at the bottom right, like new campaigns, existing campaigns, how your site is mapped, and current content zones. For this demonstration, we'll create a new campaign from scratch. The content zones marked in Fuchsia are where you can personalize your content. You can personalize these areas of your website. For this demonstration, we'll create a product recommendation campaign using one of our existing templates. You can create new templates using the visual editor as well. This campaign will display product recommendations powered by a specific recipe. You can personalize text, images, and other elements within these content zones. One key feature is campaign targeting. You can choose to show your campaign to specific user segments, like known customers or community members. You can set up different campaign types such as A-B tests or rules-based tests. A-B tests help you compare two or more experiences to see which performs better, while rules-based tests allow you to trigger experiences based on specific criteria. We always recommend to have a control group, people who won't be exposed to the experience, so you can later check the campaign performance. Inside an experience, you can easily make changes. For example, you can modify the headline, adjust the product recommendations, or choose which product details to display. You can also change the recipe that powers the recommendations, providing flexibility to experiment with different approaches now that you've seen how to create and edit a campaign. It's time to analyze your campaign's performance and use those insights to optimize your campaigns. After your campaign is live, it's essential to review data and make adjustments to optimize its performance. Analyze your audience segments, use filters, and consider tweaking your campaigns based on results. The filters and toggles at the top of the screen allow you to slice the data in different ways to see how different factors affect campaign performance. This is where you can apply the goals and filters that you set up. A filter will filter out anyone who isn't part of the audience selected as the filter from the campaign results. Many come through automatically that you can see here with built in next to their name, which is a great way to get started. For example, see how new versus returning visitors are different when pulling reports. You can also see the goals that we set up exist here as filters. Any filters that we set up on that filters and goals screen are also shown here. For attribution type, the options are click or impression. Select which one makes the most sense for your campaign. For attribution window, select one for your campaign. For example, for a pop-up window, users are going to take action right away or not at all. So you would pick the shortest attribution window of 30 minutes. You might use a longer attribution window, like one week for an email campaign to suggest items based on their browsing behavior. That week allows them time to consider making the purchase. For the comparison baseline, select your control group and look at how the different experiences perform compared to the control. Typically, your campaigns will have a control group. There may be other situations where you want everyone who's eligible to be exposed to your campaign, like a push to collect email addresses or invite people to a community. 
Adding a goal will show you how many users who were exposed to the campaign completed the selected goal. Below we have the timeline. The green bar represents how long the campaign has been live. The little flags at the top of the timeline represent when edits were made to the campaign. This can be helpful if you make a big change to the campaign and you only want to look at reporting from that point going forward. The blue highlight shows the dates you have selected for the report. You can change the dates using the date picker to the right. You can even select the hour you want to use to start and end the reporting if your campaign calls for that level of precision. Under that, we get to the bulk of our reporting with the stats for each of the experiences. If you click on any of these column headers, you can edit the columns that appear in the report. You can compare each experience to each other or to the control and see that the arrows here show what we call lift. Lift is how we measure the impact of a campaign in personalization, and it represents how much better or worse an experience did in comparison to the control. Positive lift. Like you can see here means it did better than the control. Negative lift means it did worse than the control, so you may want to go back to the drawing board and make some adjustments. Before making any decisions based on the lift numbers you see, make sure MC Personalization is reporting a high level of confidence in the result. As you can see in this example, the results are inconclusive. After your campaign has launched, make sure to review data and think about what you can do to enhance your campaigns. Give your campaign at least a week before making any changes. Set a date a week or two after campaign launch to review results. Even if the results are great, consider optimizations including use ABC testing, recipe refinement, add experiences targeted to certain users, explore how to connect data in Sales Cloud to maximize, optimize, and expand on campaign data. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.